a lot of DS to play in the mural. We had to decide, are we, we want this in or not? Like, everybody had different ideas on what to put in. Um, Empress Snudden, I learned from all the exercises before, prior to the mural, how to do a Zentangle. And a Zentangle is like a picture with a lot of different designs, abstract designs. I liked how we made in our art lessons, we made Zentangles, and they were fun and creative. They were like, they were really abstract art, and they were fun. I liked it. Um, I like learning about like how to make shading contact, like like for the face, facial, and like making it the lighter colors and making it one side darker because the light is not hitting it. How's it gonna look like kind of three dimensional? We need, realistic. yeah, it, it's not gonna look realistic. We have to put contrast into it. Hi, I'm Annie, and I learned from Megan Merrill that if you make two colors mix, it will make a different color. Around the Jean, um, what I learned was how to blend in the colors to make something pop out more. What was important to me in the mural was all the bright colors to even out with all the green that was in there. Uh, first we started with, with no ideas, what do we do? We had just a plain canvas just right there, but at the end we had like bright, beautiful colors everywhere and all the stuff like that. I'll wait and then I'll, yeah, I learned a lot about the perspective and how you make it look like 3D, realistic. Yeah. Well, first. We started out with a rough draft and then we had everybody's opinion on it to take out stuff and put stuff in and then we finally got our final. You'd say, what do you, what do you guys want to put in it? What, what are your ideas? And we'd all raise our hand, like super excited and I'd have to tell everybody, I'm like, Shh. I'd have to quiet them because they're all so excited to say what we wanted to put into the mural and yeah. So um, as a whole class, we base, we brainstorm uh, ideas to put in the mirror, and then um, what was important to me was that I wanted to be in the picture. Well, we actually just had people vote for what they wanted in there. Like just, they had people raise their hands, like what they wanted. Fujita, he like had a lot of bright colors into his mural. Everybody liked the colors, the patterns, and the details on his work. To have the bear. The bear was tight. <laughs> yeah. That was a highlight of that. <laughs> yeah. It would be the people because like um, it represents us and it represents that this is our school and it shows how we are. Awesome. Me, the valley and like the mountains, that represents us in our city of Fresno <laughs> and the grapes that we grow here and all the fruit. We looked at various different kinds of murals and saw what we liked and what we didn't like about them. And then we had, as Amanda said, class competition on the letters and everybody voted on the fact that they wanted the kids in there and the bird and the clouds from the Japanese artist and the mountains and the bear and all the colors. I like uh, the kind of uh, the sky with different colors that it looks kind of like a rainbow. But different because it, because the colors you blend in more, and the more you look at it, uh, you see all the different colors that it has. The redwood trees represent our school and community because, um, like nowhere else had it, and like everybody liked the redwood trees, and from all over the world they came to see our redwood trees. The redwood trees were part of the part of Fresno and the the King the Kings Canyon. Trees. What was important to me was the mountains in the background and the mount and the city, it, where all the people live and the communities there, and the valley of Fresno. First, we first we like made the made the picture, the idea, into into squares, and then we split it up and painted it into small parts so it'd be easier to make it bigger.
you. What was important to me was the letters of Kings Canyon because it represents our school. Oh, Wayne got picked. First letters. I want. I really wanted to have the letters. How Wayne spelled the Kings Canyon. We we had a competition about drawing the uh, school school letters, and then uh, we had a we had a voting contest, and then they and then they voted on minds, and then yeah, so. Well, how we stretched the canvas is we had to use like these clamp thingies to um, stretch it out, and then we had to get a staple and staple them down. We had to make sure that it wasn't too much tension in the middle, or it will rip. Um, I think the easiest part was like when you try to make it even and you just staple it on because the other side's already staple, you just had to pull it. Yeah. That was it's actually just, pretty complicated because you don't want to press too too hard down because you would have ripped canvas. it. Yeah, you would have ripped the canvas. Yeah, yeah, we also stapled it and then we stretched it with some kind of equipment, like a stretcher or something. Yeah, and then which is, it was fun. Yeah, I enjoyed it. What I learned um, from the art lessons was how to do grid transferring. And what is that? That is like taking like a smaller picture and then turning it into a grid and then taking that picture and then put it on a bigger piece of paper. Uh, we used the grid transfer. First we, first we like made the, made the picture, the idea. Into, into squares and then we split it up and painted it into small parts so it'd be easier to make it bigger. I helped a little bit with doing the grid. I drew the grid onto the canvas. It was a ruler to see so we could make the squares match up with each other. Oh, the grid transfer into everybody do like a small part of the, of the square and then we just put it all together and paint and make it the mural. Okay. Yeah, first we looked at the big grid and then we looked at the smaller grid picture and then we copied it off. It was pretty easy. Okay. It was pretty easy because everybody already knew where it was going to go. So we, we held out on the canvas, so we stretched it out and then we did all these kind of hard working stuff to build a mirror. The, the kids made up the uh, mind of adding the, the uh, subject and the item, the people in it. And the artists uh, help us uh, to make it more balanced and to make it more equal. So it will be uh, uniquely and it will be more equal. The biggest thing that I learned was that not everyone likes the same thing. Everyone likes it different. What I learned the most was that we were working together and making a big mural and all the detailing and everything and how everybody worked together on it. I was really happy because it looked awesome. I didn't think it was going to look that great. What was important to me was that um, we all, all the students that created the mural was in there. That that makes like us stand out more that we did it. I learned I learned a lot more than I knew before okay. about portrait painting. It's important to me because it makes everything to come together. It makes it look like one community. The funnest part I think was the people because like how they look like in the pictures and then how we had to paint them. And I like the letters, and like I like the fact that there was a, like a city line and the trees, and the bear was bigger, looked more furrier. I painted, I painted some of the bear. I painted some of the trees as well, and I really liked the trees that I painted. Um, the thing I learned was like, like it doesn't matter if you make mistakes; it, they could always be fixed and like just to have fun with it and you know, experiment. The part that I painted was was some of the clothing, the letters of the of Kings Canyon and the, and the hills of the valley.
I think the students did most of the painting because we did all the drawings and paintings. I think the students did more work, but the artists did a lot of work too. They um, blended colors together. The artists helped by um, helping us mix the color and help us draw the people in. And I thought it was really nice that they that the artists got to help us with it because we wouldn't know what to do. We would have wanted to put random things into it. And, you know, we we really... It was really helpful having them here. No, it was a great process. The Did sky was kind of hard because you had to keep mixing in and stuff. I really like how um, when uh, we all did um, the uh, skies, like we all painted the different colors, mixtures, and how it was like, <laughs> how it was very pretty and. Um, my mom and dad went for me and it was late in the dark where well, I can see the um, beautiful colors of the orange, red, and yellow when the sun setting. I painted the trees, the clouds, the sky, and the grass. So I learned the most is um, spending more time and making art and having fun with other people. I helped like like some paint on the people's clothing, on the grass, some flowers underneath, a little bit of the trees also, and on the sky, on the bird, on the clouds. Well, I, I like the, uh, the, the crane. And some kids wanted it off, but I said I wanted it, I wanted it on still. So they threw it in still. I put the highlights on the redwood trees and some of the flowers. I was painting the trees in the uh, right upper corner. Uh, I got the idea of it because the brush is uh, not very stiff enough to make it look straight, so I tried to hold it with my hands to make it straight. I think the redwood trees were a good idea to put into the mural. They're really beautiful. They have a lot of detail to them. To them. I. I was really not that good at painting until after painting the mural because Scott t told me the shading and all that. He taught me a lot of it. So, yeah, because for the highlights and the shade and all that, the dark spaces. I painted the flowers and the um, grass. Uh, what I painted on the mural was the trees um, and the and the grass, and I thought it was great because it, it looked pretty because it was creative how like we mixed a lot of colors to make it look realistic and I think it was really fun to mix the colors. To me it was important that the, the idea of the city was was um, in the mirror yeah and I, I really like the part with the city and the lights and the mountains and everything that represents Fresno. Um, I painted um, some flowers and I painted the grass, like a part of the grass and a piece of the sky. Sky helped us with the portrait paintings by like, he told me to like paint over it and then we'll go in and do highlights and like low lights and we'll do the eyes. And also Eliana helped me by saying like, highlight the pants and the shirts to make it look more realistic instead of cartoony. And yeah, he told me to paint my hair too. My hair was blue. Awesome. <laughs> he showed us how to do like the shadow or or how to like like the eyes, like to make it look like something like was wrinkly, like to make the wrinkles in it. I think the most fun part was um, painting the mural because like we like experienced how to mix colors and like. A whole new experience to paint the mural. It was really fun though. I thought the farm, the farm and the hills represented farther away. Like when you go straight down the King's Canyon through here, when you go straight down, then you, when you look down, if you go straight down all the way, you get to like the valley and stuff like that. You can see what exactly what it looks like because you can see the mountains and then you can see part of the city. It makes me feel proud that um, me and my classmate painted the, um, the big mural. It takes a long time. Um, I was really happy because it looked awesome. I didn't think it was going to look that great. 
I was proud of it because it's like in a museum. Like I would never think that some of my work would go in there. When I saw the final project, I got happy, really, because I never made something so big and so important. When I saw my artwork in the museum, I felt honored that this happened to me. And I got to put my work inside a museum. I felt it really played a big role for our school and made us look very good. And we have a lot of good artists here. We did a good job on it. We deserved it to be in the, the museum. Um, I felt happy that I was a part of this, and I want to thank you guys for like helping us with this mural. Uh, it's it's great. I like it. I, I like how I work with the artists, and then you know finishing a a big project and then hanging it up in the art museum so everybody can see. I feel great about it. Made me feel like an artist. The fun thing was painting the trees and the clouds and everybody in it. It was really fun.